something that I found really interesting is that they have cars right here for sale. Like Chevy has new cars. So I guess if your car does not pass inspection, you could just buy a new one while you're here. Hello. Can you say hello. Hey. We are headed to get the car inspected. Here in Lima, Peru, you have to have your car inspected once a year. It's kind of an annoying process, and they... Lima is full of process. Just everything we do, it's a process. Yes. Hi. It's lines and it's. Hey camera. Can you say hi, Thomas? Hi. Hey camera. You're gonna get an ice cream, yes. The Thomas hope is that we will find ice cream. Very excited about getting ice cream. And we, uh, they have like these random rules. Like I can't see in the car while the process is happening, even though I don't know. I guess they think it's unsafe. I'm not really sure why. So I have to get out with the kids and. And wait. we can't record, so. They won't let you record. No. Oh. So you guys are not coming in with us. Maybe we can sneak some video. <laughs> We shall see how it goes today. We're hoping that we don't have any problems because our car apparently should say that it's um, hatchback. It's a hatchback, but it, it doesn't. It says it is a sedan. It's a sedan. So apparently we have a sedan, a two-door sedan. Is there? Is there? Does it even exist? No. Maybe. I, I don't, don't think. Know. No, sedans are four doors. Sedans are four doors, right? So we're a two-door hatchback, and it says we're a sedan. And so they can obviously see that the car is not a sedan, right. but it has to say that it's a hatchback. And, and in order doesn't. to get it changed, I have to take it to a mechanic who is authorized for the change. He has to inspect the car, make sure it's a hatchback, even though you can see that it's a hatchback. <laughs> uh, pay money, of course, because it's going to cost a lot of money. Uh, and then uh, go to another office to get that notarized, and, and, and then the process takes a few days. And, you know, and then you finally get your final paper, maybe, hopefully. So and it probably gonna, won't be done on time. Yeah. So we're going to go and see if they'll let us off the hook. We promise not to bribe them. That could happen here, but we don't do that. And this we happens just smile. Too. Oh, yeah. That's uh, a bus in the wrong lane, obviously. See? That's uh, the lane going the other way. Yes? Yes, Thomas? You want to get chocolate? I thought you wanted ice cream. A chocolate ice cream. So apparently we're getting chocolate ice cream. Yes, Hannah, what about you? Do you want chocolate ice cream? Yes. <laughs> a bow to the yes. We have a Japanese baby. Yes. She bows. She bows for her yeses. It's very, it's very strong yes. Anyway, so hopefully we can get everything figured out. See you when we get there. So we're almost there, um, there's still traffic, we just need to get in. This is it right here, if you can see that. So we're like, we're here, we just have to turn. Let's see, it's in Callao, it's called Tarenet. But they, they don't let us record inside, so we're not going to record inside. So we'll uh, we'll go in and see what they say, and then we'll talk about it after. Okay, here we are, inside. It says that you're not allowed to video while the process is happening, but we are in line, so we figure right now is okay. So Hugo's filling out some paperwork. I think it's just simple, like what's your license plate and stuff like that. And then right here, we have this wonderful sign that looks like it tells you what's happening. So you obviously enter where the car is. There it is, enter. And then it says you um, show your documentations, and then they'll check the gases in your car. I'm trying to translate this. Then they check the suspension of your vehicle. Number five is also something about suspension. Then they do a visual inspection, number six. Number seven, what is a stacion test line? 
um, it's the station. like the weight of your car, it says, right? Mm -hmm. And alignment of your car. And Fuerza de Fernado. Fernado? What is Fernado? Uh, Fernado. Ah, oh, that's your brakes. And then number eight, you finally get to leave. But first, number eight, you have to wait for your paper, of course, to be processed. So, and then you get your certification and saying, so <laughs> hopefully everything will go well and we will get our certification and we can leave. But I'm sure we'll be here for a while. Go ahead. <laughs> here we are waiting in the waiting area for Hugo because like I said, we're not allowed to be in the car. Um, we did leave Hannah in the car because she's sleeping. So hopefully that will be a problem. He will say he call me if it is. So here's Thomas and I waiting. And um, most places here have like like little tiny stores wherever you go. So Thomas went to the little tiny store that's um, right there that have like chips and crackers and things like that. So he chose a sucker. Of course, a they're amazing. A lollipop. What flavor is the lollipop? Red. It's red, yes. It's strawberry, I think. Fresa in Spanish. Can you say fresa? Fresa. We're trying to teach him Spanish. He starts um, school in Spanish soon, so we're trying to prepare him, but, you know. Red. Red. Roja. <laughs> anyway, so now we wait for Hugo. I may be able to sneak um, a little video of him coming out at the end. I'm not sure, because technically we're not supposed to video any parts of him through that process. So yeah, here we are waiting. Can you say goodbye, Thomas? Goodbye. Okay, something that I found really interesting is that they have cars right here for sale. Like Chevy has new cars. So I guess if your car does not pass inspection, you could just buy a new one while you're here. I found that interesting. I've never they've never been here before. <laughs> but I guess it's smart, right? I guess if your car's not passing inspection and it has issues, they you could just buy a new one. And then you would pass inspection. I don't know. I it was interesting. Here comes the car that was in front of Hugo. So Hugo is next coming through the line. I don't see him yet. So we shall wait. Okay, so I believe he's almost done. He's at the very end. He's, um, right over there, just finishing up. So hopefully we'll be done soon. Thomas and I are waiting patiently. What's going on? Huh? What's happening? What are we doing? We're waiting for daddy. Mm -hmm. We do. I'm sure that sugar is good for you. <laughs> it's yummy, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. the gum also. So, you know the middle part is gum, right? You're supposed to chew it and eat it? Oh, why, hello. You finished? Maybe some on the car. Uh, okay, so we, we, we just finished the inspection and um, everything went well. The lady came up to me and she said, you know, like you you have uh, like an observation here. And <clears throat> but that's what they call it here, an observation. And, uh, and I said, yes, you know, I haven't been able to get... Because what, what happens is my, my car, like we said before, my car is a hatchback. And, uh, and it says that it's a sedan. So she's like, it has to match. And I was like, yeah, I haven't done it, you know. And, and then she asked the technician and he was like, just let him through. So they let us through, they did the inspection, and then they didn't even put anything in the new inspection. So we're good for at least two years. But I'm gonna get it done this year because I'm a law-abiding citizen. And uh, now uh, uh, we don't know what we're gonna do. We're, we're thinking about going to a store. Uh, it's kind of like a like a Ace Home Center or a Home Depot because we need to get a few things. So uh... all right, so we uh, finished having lunch and. Uh, it's time to go home. Kiddos need a nap. So uh, we're gonna go home and I hope you guys enjoyed our little adventure of going to get the car inspected and uh, having lunch. Till next time. Till next time.